node js functions how we can write that you know function in node js the structure of node js functions then we have seen the example for function then we have seen the name function and anonymous function with their examples how we can uh, execute function without name then we have seen the scope of function then higher order function we have seen the examples of that uh, function scope with higher order functions and we have seen the what is anonymous functions difference between the name function and anonymous function we have seen the higher order functions and now we are going to continue with closures what is closures here here you can see if there is a function defined inside another function the inner function has access to the variables declared in the outer function that means if there is a function defined inside another function that is we have seen in some programming language like nested loops nested functions like this function within function okay so that is that inner function has access to the variables declared in the outer functions the variables we are going to declare in outside the outside or outer functions that variables are accessible to that inner function how we can see here the variables in outer function have been closed by their inner function here you can see the example that function outer function this is the name of that function that is outer function with the argument here you can see function outer function with the parameter argument now we are going to open that curly brace that means the body of the outer function includes variable where variable in outer function this is the outer function variable having value argument that is the that parameter we are going to pass to that function okay then inside that outer function inside the outer functions body we are going to include another function that is function my value okay that is function within the function this is the outer function now that function my value is the inner function having the body a console dot log that will print variable in outer function what it will print variable in outer function here you can see that means that insider function or that inner function can access the variables from outer function okay so console dot log variable in outer function what that variable in outer function consist of argument that argument we are going to pass to that function so after closing the body of that inner function we are going to call that inner function here my value okay without any parameter we are going to call that my value function what that my value function consist of this body that it will print that variable in outer function that means the argument it will it is going to be print after closing uh, that uh, inner outer function what we are going to call we are going to call that outer function with parameter or with argument outer function with argument hello closure that is the string we are going to pass as the argument to that outer function so how this uh, code will execute here we we are going to see this here you can see in microsoft uh, in visual app visual studio code here see this we are going to execute this code first uh, create a file and uh, like uh, give name as like app dot or name of that file with the extension dot js and execute this with the node js here you can see output of this function is hello closure here you can see see this in this uh, we have write the outer function that is function having name outer function with the argument and after opening that here you can see the body of outer function consisting of one variable that variable name is variable in outer function is equals to the value that value means that argument that is the parameter for that function okay so after that inside that outer function we are creating another function that is inner function function having name my value okay so that body of that inner function is console it is going to be print console dot log variable in outer function <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry <coughs> variable in outer function what that variable in outer function is 
it is the variable from outer function having value argument that argument is to be passed for that outer function after closing that inner function we are going to call that inner function that means it is going to be print that variables value okay so after closing that function body outside the function we are going to call that outer function that means we are going to pass the value to that outer functions argument that is hello closure okay so that node js will execute this code first it will take this argument for that function then for that it will assign that argument to that variable in outer function in that inside that function my value it will print that console dot log variable in outer function now the variable in outer function consisting of that hello closure that means it will print that hello closure here here you can see okay so this is the execution of that code here this is the execution of this closures code okay so we have seen the how we can execute that function define inside another function okay so the inner function can access the variables from the outer scope even after the outer function has written here you can see if it is written then also we can access that variables from the outer scope here how why because because the variables are still bound in the inner function variables are still bound in the inner function and not dependent on the outer function okay so here you can see that function having name outer function with the argument then variable one variable is there for that function that is variable in outer function is equals to argument then return function what it will it will return function what that function without name that outer function will return the function without and that is anonymous function what the function includes it is going to be print console dot log variable in outer function that means the argument is going to be print okay after closing the uh, inner function close the outer function also then variable inner function okay that variable inner function is equals to outer function with the argument hello closure then call that inner function here this variable this variable now inner function act as a function because that outer function with the parameter we are going to that function we are going to assign this function to that variable and now we are going to call this variable like a function that is inner function okay so how it will execute we will see here just i am copying that code and here here you can see that will print the hello closure how here we will see that function outer function with the argument variable of from that outer function here you can see yeah then return function what we this outer function will return that function anonymous function without name without function name that is the anonymous function that function consisting of that function will print that variable or the argument we are going to pass here after closing that inner function and outer function outside that function we are having one variable that is inner function okay so what it consists the value like outer function this is the function name okay having arguments hello closure so we are going to assign this function as a function to that variable that means now this variable will act as a function and we are going to call that variable like a function so it will pass this argument to that and it will return that function like this clock it will print that hello closure here okay so this is the example of closures inside the scope or outside the scope now next point is 